Hey, how you liking our setup though? This is making the trip that time more enjoyable. Good. Wow, look how big this screen is. Man, that's exactly what I wanted. It's a 2011 Denali, but man, with this, it's almost like a 2023 truck. Can't beat that at all. It's a 13 inch display. Wow, the quality is literally like, it is solid. It's not a cheap plastic junk. We have the actual double din radio that's gonna go in. Our display is gonna get attached. We have all the plugs that we need for your basic install. However, with my Denali, oh, it's, we got some screws right here as well. However, with my Denali, it has, it may require a few extra harnesses. They will be in a different box. Like right now, I've been on the road for about close to 30 minutes and this Apple CarPlay has not been working. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So the main screen right here, as you can see, the, the device works, but my Apple CarPlay, my, my Bluetooth is connected. It's just blank. So it can be a little frustrating because you just want to connect your phone to the device so you can play radio or listen to podcasts and all that good stuff. But, but right now you're, you're just kind of fighting it. Some days it works flawlessly, but today, days like today, I, I don't know why it's not working. And a promise of interest to his target market. Don't miss that point. Your lead generation magnet needs to sound sexy, exciting, informative. The magnet, likewise, has to frame its benefits and value with powerful emotional language. I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram about this new head unit that I got from the SATA. I think that's how you pronounce it. However, uh, I wanted to test this product out for about a month before I can make a review for you guys. Uh, keep in mind, I did not actually do an installation video and here's why. When I contacted the SATA about this head unit, they assured me that everything would be plug and play. I believe I have the Bose system in this truck and the, way, the reason why I say I believe is if you look over there, you see that little Bose print, but if you look at my actual door speakers, like right there, there is no Bose on my door speakers. I have had a truck just like this, which was another, this is a 2011, early 2011 model, and I had another 2011 a few years ago, had the Bose printing on the speakers. I really wasn't sure if this is a Denali, so I assumed that it had Bose, but the fact that I didn't see it on my door speakers, it, I was kind of confused on whether I had it or not. But either way, they assured me that everything would be plug and play, and they would just have to send me a special module to make it work. I went on their website to see if the module was on there, and on their website, they didn't have the module they, they sent for a GM model with Bose. So because of that, I wasn't sure if it was available publicly or not. Also, another reason is because this is my first time ever messing with a head unit, and I just didn't feel confident enough to make installation. But what I can say that is from my experience, everything was straightforward. Everything was actually plug and play. And the thing that I was pretty impressed about this head unit is that the the steering wheel controls actually work even with their plug and play module and the reason why i say that is because i know enough that whenever you swap out your head unit from your factory to an aftermarket there are so so many wires and plugs and harnesses that you have to purchase to make everything work do know that if you have the steering wheel control from the factory there are extra harnesses that you have to purchase to make it work with your aftermarket radio. The harness they sent was actually just straight up plug and play. I will leave it at that. I mean, I was actually pretty impressed. I knew nothing about ster uh, stereo systems, head units, nothing, but it, the installation was pretty straightforward and pretty simple. I did have to splice two wires and that was about it. But enough with that talk, let's go ahead and talk about this radio system some of the pros and cons this is a 13 inch display from the SATA I wanted to go with the biggest screen just because 
as you guys saw, I wanted to take advantage of when we're traveling, wanted to watch Netflix or YouTube or Hulu or whatever to make the time go by a little bit faster and a little bit more enjoyable. Yeah, for that reason, I went with the 13 inch screen and I wanted to modernize this truck. It is a 2011 model, so it is a little bit older. And I know the newer, the 1500s and then now the 2500s come with this really big screen from the factory as a refresh. All right, so as you guys can see, my Apple CarPlay working and it is actually wireless Apple CarPlay. So it does connect automatically when you get in the vehicle. I will rate this about seven out of 10 just because there are times where it does not want to connect but for the most part it's pretty good and because it doesn't want to connect sometimes flawlessly most of the times obviously it would be 9 out of 10 but because of the bugs I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 other than Apple CarPlay I mean look at this 13 inch display using Apple CarPlay you cannot beat that uh, only downside is whenever yep, you just heard it Whenever I put the truck in drive, well, maybe if you did a 10 inch screen, you might be better off. But with the 13 inch screen, the shifter on the 2500s and the 1500s will block it. Just keep that in mind. Let's go and head over to the actual head unit itself. As you can see, I have Netflix on here. Well, I'll talk a little bit more about that here in a second. All right, so first things first, I don't think this is a true Android. And what I mean by that is obviously you have all of these and you can go to like your Gmail, it has Chrome, it has Play Store. But when I go to Play Store, when I go to the Play Store, and I tried downloading Netflix, Hulu, and all those streaming services, and they said they were not compatible for this device, which is a little weird. However, they do have Prime and HBO Max. As you can see right here, I do have Netflix, and the way I got it was I had to do some Google research, and I basically, it was kind of like the back in the days of rooting an Android. We're gonna go to my files, uh, downloads, you can see right here where I have Netflix, it's the APK file. I just had to download that and it actually works pretty good. So that is how you can get some of these streaming services to work on this Android device. For some reason that does not support. Then YouTube comes downloaded and YouTube works right out the box. And you can have uh, what I plan on doing for longer drives is I'm gonna download some TV shows and there's a SD card slot in the back. I can insert the SD card and we can stream videos uh, from that and binge watch a season of something as we're traveling. For that reason is why I got this radio. So far I've had probably about a month of experience with this head unit. I I'm liking it so far. I do get a little frustrated sometimes because some of the basic things don't work as smooth or flawlessly as they should. Like Apple CarPlay for example, it was really glitching this morning. The solution was that I just had to turn my phone off, turn it back on and it actually worked. Um, I even tried turning the truck off when I got to the rest area and just reset it the radio itself that didn't work restarting my phone somehow fixed it and I feel like the glitch was there because when we were traveling yesterday we were using my fiance's phone for Apple CarPlay the radio was hooked up to her cell phone even wirelessly for Apple CarPlay maybe it was getting a little confused when I was trying to get mine to hook up to work's head unit so for that it's a little frustrating because even you could just make the Apple CarPlay work with the cable even that wasn't work it's a small stuff I feel like being able to use Apple CarPlay is one of the main perks of an after market head unit for that to not work that well it kind of went a mess over there because well i am in the process of wrapping this truck which stay tuned for that because it's a pretty gnarly color so we have youtube right here let's just go ahead and play a video currently i'm at the house i'm connected to my house wi-fi in which sometimes the service all the way out here to the driveway it, it can be a little slow Pretty good. All right, there you go. We got Paramount Plus downloaded, and it seems to work flawlessly. I didn't have to do the APK file on this. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in real quick. Here it is. Yeah, I've been watching like Undercover Boss, Do Perfect Show, Under the Dome. Finished that in like three days while I was sick. But yeah, let's go ahead and play an episode of Undercover Boss. 
Now that is pretty neat, right, you guys? Even if you need to navigate through the device, it will have a split screen right here in which it'll continue playing whatever video you're watching. So it is a pretty cool feature. Uh, let me see, split screen right here. The touch on this can be a little sensitive, so you gotta learn how to maneuver it and navigate it. But let's go ahead and start this truck because I wanna show you guys the backup camera. Put it in reverse, back up Terry. So that is the backup camera. Uh, let me see how well you guys can see it. So I will say the backup camera does look a little bit blurry, mainly because um, obviously this is a 2011. So we're, we're using a 12 year old camera and now that screen is so big that it is slightly distorted, but it's honestly not that bad. I guess I could always down the line upgrade the camera to something newer and plug it straight up to this, or even just like maybe be able to figure out a way to wire it straight to the camera on the tailgate back there using the factory harness. But yeah, um, that's one thing you guys wanted to see was the backup camera in which I will say because of the bigger screen, it is a little bit distorted, but it's honestly not that bad. This unit, I highly recommend it because it's not bad at all for what it is. It comes with the harness. Everything is plug and play. I did complain about the Apple CarPlay not working, but let me see. It's working flawlessly today. I'm using my phone to record, so maybe it won't connect. But last three weeks that I've been driving this truck, it has connected pretty much every time. There you go. All right. Well, here is the Apple CarPlay. As you can see, it is working pretty good. Now it's laggy just because I'm filming with my phone right now. But other than that, the last three weeks, I've been driving this truck. Haven't had any issues with Apple CarPlay. It connected flawlessly. Only time we had the hiccup was when somebody else's device was connected to this. I just had to restart my phone and it connected right away. So yeah, I st I'm still going to give it a 7 out of 10 for that because I feel like other fact head units, especially like the newer factory ones, as long as you plug in with the wire, you usually don't have any issues. But with this, we were still kind of running into issues. So that's kind of the reason for slightly lower rating. But other than that, I mean, it's been working great. I, I do like the fact that it's wireless and the price is very reasonable for what you're getting. So yeah, I highly recommend this. If you guys are, are in the market of upgrading your head unit, go check out the SATA. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer them as quick as possible.